Hello everybody, today is Wednesday, August 2nd. It's 3.01 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. On my left is the time and sales, the E-mini S&P currently trading at 24.7350. And I'm recording this video about an hour before the session close as I have an appointment this morning. Anyway, spectacular day for the auto trader. Before I begin, first, the required disclaimer. Okay, we've had incredible performance from the DAX. Today, uh, both DAX charts hit their goal. The DAX chart that starts trading the London session at 3 a.m. Eastern Time is uh, hit its goal today at 1975 for the day. There was three trades, a loser, and then two winners here, and that was it, hit its goal. Okay, the DAX that starts trading the U.S. session at 9.30 a.m. had a loser and three winners, and ended up at 1850 for the day, so just shy of its goal. Uh, so, but still, just incredible performance on the DAX. We've seen this a lot. The DAX being probably our all-time most consistent chart ever. Another thing I want to point out is, as you look at the auto trader on the charts, also look at the indicators, as the indicators give fantastic signals, whether it's minute bars, Renko bars, range bars, the BWT precision indicators, the original, the one and only that came out in 2006 in TradeStation, and then uh, 2007 in NinjaTrader, as we were one of the first NinjaTrader vendors. Um, everything after that kind of looks like ours, but we were the original, even before, well before SuperTrend, well before MT4. So the BWT precision indicators uh, just giving solid signals here. Okay, today was crude oil inventory day, and on Wednesday's crude oil inventory, we I do use the news filter on the auto trader, and what the news filter does is it stops trading, uh, in this case, uh, four minutes before the announcement, and then enable trading one minute, and you would you, it allows the auto trader to avoid that uh, volatility spike. So here uh, we can see the exit of this short trade. Uh, this is the crude on the Precision Renko 5 tick with a 300% reversal. We've actually uh, used to plot this uh, as one of our regular charts, and uh, so I'm bringing it back, and today it didn't disappoint. It did 11.30 and probably hit its goal and had some slippage. But anyway, you, it exited the trade uh, one minute before 10.30, and then uh, it had a small loser here at 10.45, kind of avoided the volatility here, and then caught the real move. Uh, this has a deep pullback of about seven ticks, and uh, this move brought us up to uh, 11.30 for the day. Our goal is on this one, uh, actually is set really high. It trades uh, indefinitely. This is the 24-hour uh, version. I have another one that has more of a fixed goal. But anyway, this is up 11.30 for the day. It had an equity high, though, of 16.80. So probably better to show uh, the one that I have a goal on, uh, usually set this one at about 1500 or so. Okay, next up is the NASDAQ on the Superenco 10 tick, and this hit its goal of uh, 1200, it had a tick slippage. Uh, it drew down a little bit from the open. This was our open equity, so it drew down about seven or $800, and then it came back with this incredible run of winners here. A couple of small losers, but the winners were quite large, catching these swings back to back, uh, doing 1190 for the day and hitting its goal of 1200. Next up is the E-mini S&P on a 2500 tick line break chart. We've seen this chart quite a bit. This had three winning trades to do 975. It has a goal of 1000, and we probably had a tick of slippage on the end, so pretty nice, three trades. Another really solid performance on the 30-year Treasury bond on the Superenco 2 tick. Uh, pretty active today, but really nice trades uh, going forward and hitting its goal of 1,000 with 
uh, a tick slippage on the end. Okay, we had a pretty active chart on the Dow Superenco 6 tick. Anyway, doing 4.45 uh, so far today. A pretty respectable performance. That's all for today's video. Okay, next up is the Russell. Uh, we still cranked out some gains on the Russell, $150 albeit, but uh, showing positive a lot of days in a row here since I've been showing this. Uh, only $150, but we only have a $5 tick value here. We're only trading two contracts. That's all for today's video. If you'd like to find out more, please visit our website at bluewavetrading.com or send us an email to systems at bluewavetrading.com. Thanks for watching today.